decided that there was one thing that I always talk about in my show that some people might not want me to talk about, but I think it's very relevant to your generation. And it's that it's very important that we all band together to legalize gay marriage all over. but not really. <laughs> Let's kill Prop 8. Fernando's Mexican. Okay. And uh, Fernando uh, is the musical director of the album. So there's a lot of Latin American flavor on the album. But we began to work. And as we were working, I got an email that uh, Prop 8 had been overturned in California, a marriage law uh, for the gay community. And we said that we felt like this gun had gone off in society, the fact that Prop 8 had been overturned. And actually, just around that time, the immigration laws began to surface. The spirit of the fans in Mexico City is so beautiful, and I wish I could translate their spirit to the rest of the world. Mis canciones son de la revolución. They just began to sing. They are the reason that I'm here. It's just straight out uncomfortable. Um, I felt like I had a target on my back, even though I, I have, you know, documents and um, I have a birth certificate. From here, I still, I still felt targeted. I had to be careful around police. I had to be careful around any, any uh, authority. What is Americano? That is about uh, social injustice in my country and the immigration laws. Uh, I don't stand by. Uh, many of those unjust immigration laws in my country and I wrote Americano as a response specifically to the laws in Arizona. I want you to let go of all of your insecurities. I want you to reject any person or anything or any law that have ever made you feel like you don't belong. big rappers, and they said, we'd like you to boycott Arizona. We'd like you to boycott playing Arizona because of SB 1070. And I said, you really think that us dumb fucking pop stars are gonna collapse the economy of Arizona? I'll tell you what we have to do about SB 1070. We have to be active. We have to actively protest. Of the monster ball is to actively protest prejudice and injustice and the bullshit that is put on our society as a youth because you're a superstar no matter who you are or where you come from and you were born that way. I'm just happy to meet everyone really especially you know here uh, everyone's here like their hearts are so big and they're so willing to share their love it was like everyone's heart was so big and everyone just wanted to share so much love tinha muita gente muita gente eu vi um garoto falando assim o menino virou e falou assim a, a Lady Gaga tá lá no canto galo e saiu correndo Cara, eu fui atrás dele correndo também. I am a sinner who's probably gonna sin again. Lord forgive me. Lord forgive me. Things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. Como sempre, Lady Gaga surpreendeu. Todos esperavam que ela chegasse ao espaço Criança Esperança de carro, junto com a comitiva. Mas ela subiu o morro a pé. No Cantagalo, sentou à mesa de um bar, 
Os fãs enlouqueceram. Eu, eu não sei porque na né, época eu tava muito com isso de rosa azul na, na cabeça e rosa azul. É, o significado dela é um mistério, a busca do inalcançável. E na literatura, o significado dela é amor. A Lady Gaga tem total relação com o meu processo de aceitação. A Lady Gaga me fez ir além por amor. Então, tipo, foi foi o que foi essa ideia. Então, a rosa azul veio bem daí. Eu peguei uma rosa, na verdade, a rosa não era naturalmente azul, eu pintei ela. E aí escrevi várias coisas na pétala, quando ela abria a pétala. Aí eu fiquei gritando. Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga, lá viu aquela coisa de fã que não sabe falar inglês e tudo mais. Fiquei gritando, aí ela olhou, aí eu fiquei, for you, for you, for you, com a rosa esticada assim. Cara, ela olhou nos meus olhos, eu achei isso até hoje, e não conseguia tirar o olho dela. Aí eu fiquei até um pouco emocionado, desculpa, falando porque foi mágico. Quando estive lá conhecendo a comunidade, aquilo foi tão incrível que pedi para algumas crianças escreverem a palavra Rio. Peguei uma letra de cada uma e tatuei bem aqui, para nunca me esquecer daquelas crianças. E como não precisamos de riqueza material para sermos felizes. Elas estão ali, felizes, só com uma bola de futebol. Just love yourself and you'll say I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. All children um, have the the right to feel valuable, and everybody has a shot, but not everybody has a fair shot. So I think what UNICEF does is they try to make the shot a little more equal. I'm most looking forward to building a relationship with each individual country that I go to and each individual city and being able to ha establish a connection with the audience.
the Adele. Shirt. She's put on about 25 pounds. Everybody's a critic. Look at if you saw that picture, you notice that Gaga has eaten her meat dress. Down. Everybody <laughs> is has judgment. She could get Lane Bryant to sponsor her to go on tour <laughs> with Adele. Everybody thinks that they have a right to say whatever they think about. And truthfully, everybody does have a right to opinion, but this incessant negative force that's being charged at every celebrity, every artist, it's sad because there's a element of respect that's been lost for the performer. And people don't really, I should, how should I say, they're not grateful anymore. But that's just who I am. On the cover of Hustler Magazine <laughs> at the Borden's table, <laughs> meet is precisely how we treat women. <laughs> Nobody.